Hi guys, welcome back to Thornton 100 Motorcycles YouTube channel and episode three of Joe Wicks, The Body Coaches Triumph Thruxin RS Custom Build. <laughs> Today we got lots and lots going on and there's been lots going on in the background on this build while you guys haven't been watching but what I'm going to do today is talk you through what we've been doing and then we're going to do a load of stuff today and hopefully make a load of progress on this build and get it moving forward nice and quickly now. I'm here with my brother Evan and Evan is our new employee and Evan is basically going to be giving me a hand in the workshop so thanks for joining us Evan. No problem. So I'm just going to start from this end of the ramp, uh, what we have here is the finished version of the electronics tray that I designed for the bike last episode. So all of this stuff under here, all these fuse boxes, all this electrical stuff needs to be kept nice and neat. So what we've essentially done is created a metal version of what I created on my iPad. We've given it a nice heat sink on the bottom there. And then what we've done is give it a 3D printed insert, which clips in there nice and neat like that. And that holds all of the electrical components as well. Okay, so what we have next is loads and loads and loads of 3D prints of this tailpiece. Now this is, honestly for us, is, 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 has been a bit of a nightmare really. It's a big sticking point, the big debate in the workshop as to what we think this should look like. Now we've come up with loads and loads of different designs for this so far. This is our latest design and I'm still not happy with it. Honestly, if it's not perfect, if it's not exactly how I envisioned it, it's not going. It's just not leaving the work yet. So we've got loads of different designs here. This is our design at the moment. and I do quite like the shape. I like how it comes up and I like how we've got these little arches which mimic the exhaust underneath as well. Um, unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to build the lights into this unit because it makes it look too weird. So we'll cover that in another later episode as well. However, this one I think is still too long. I think it hangs out the back of the bike too far. So what we're gonna do is sink it right in and get it sat over the top of the frame well. I've never really seen this done before as well, so it'd be a bit of a weird one really, and it's kind of hard to wrap my head around what it's gonna look like, but I think it's gonna look really cool once we're done. So hopefully we'll be able to cover a little bit more of that in uh, this episode as well. Um, however, we're gonna be jumping on and moving on to a load of other things as well. So moving on to the front, we've had these machined, and these are basically custom triple clamps for Joe's bike. Now we have a bottom clamp that we've remade because it's got these nice little mounts on here, because we're gonna be running a new Bob a headlight because I really like what they look like as well. A really nice little small unit with a Triumph logo in the middle and really nice DRLs too. We have a new top clamp as well, which has the speedo mount built into it and we've got these Xylane coated so they look so sick, don't they? Yeah, really yeah. happy with them. So what Evan's gonna be doing today is pulling this front end out, replacing all of the triple clamps, pressing the stem out, putting the new bearings on and getting that whole front end sorted out so we can start to move on and design, 3D scan the front mudguard. And what I'm gonna be doing is pulling the tank off as well. I'm gonna be choosing some colors for the tank. I think we're gonna go with a really nice silver on this one. We're gonna get rid of the strap. We might keep the strap actually. I need to speak to Joe about in the strap. That's one of the things about building our bikes as well is I've kind of put them together and we kind of agree a spec, but if I'm doing something towards the end, I'm like, you know what? Let's just do it. So that might look really cool with the strap as well. We've got a really cool color on the seat and some really cool ideas as well. So hopefully I might be able to talk Joe into a little strap. I don't know on that one yet, we'll see. So, I'm gonna pull the exhaust off as well. These need to come off and be polished. We need to pull the fuel injection throttle body modules out. Uh, I think, get your head straight, Jody. We need to pull them out and we need to get them painted black and then get all the new bolts on there as well. A couple of other little bits, like the oil filler cap needs to come out. Now, all of these silver parts here as well, all on the bike, need to come off and need to be Xylan coated. And then we need to pull the swing arm off, cut a few tabs off it, get it looking really nice and neat, and push all the bearings out of it, all the new bearings, because we have to absolutely destroy them when we pull them out. Um, get the swing arm Xylan coated, and then hopefully, this bike will probably by the end of the day just look like it's got a front end in it, but the rest of it's gonna be kind of pulled apart. So lots and lots going on in this episode, guys. So stay tuned and hopefully you guys are gonna see a real in-depth build process on this bike, which is what we're aiming at with these new episodes. So let's get stuck in.
So the bike is all stripped down now. We have all of the silver parts taken out. For example, the kick plates, all of the foot controls and the swing arm. And they've all gone off for Zylan coating to make them all nice and black to match our custom parts too. The exhausts have gone off to be polished as well. We have the throttle bodies out, which are gonna be painted, and we have loads of stuff being machined in the background. So while that's all going on, Evan's gonna jump onto the front end and get that all put back together. Right guys, so headlights on, uh, yokes are on. Just had to put the front wheel back in for Alex. He's designing a billet mud guard for this bike. Uh, so he's gonna tell you a little bit about that. We've got all of our Xylan back as well. We're gonna jump on that and start assembling it back together. So I've just taken all my measurements, so we're going to start the design for the front mud guard. I've just worked out stuff like the rake and the curvature of the front wheel, so we're going to jump into the CAD. The front end is all back together now. Evan's done a really good job of making it all nice and neat with all the cables and the wiring. And I'm really happy with how these clamps have turned out too. They went straight in, no issues there. So we've got to put the speedo on, but the headlights on there already now. And the bar risers look really good Xylan coated as well, which is gonna match all the other black Xylan coating on the bike. I've actually been away for a week and you've actually been cracking on that front ends all in and you've designed this front mud guard and it actually looks so sick, but I think we're gonna make some changes, right? Yeah, man, we've got a couple of tweaks. How did you get on designing it, though? Like? I haven't done a front mud guard before, and I just kind of started from scratch, thought, what does Joe want to see on his bike? And I was thinking fast, nice, nice aerodynamic angles at the front here. So that's kind of this like little wedge shape at the front, pushing yeah. what I thought was like air around the forks. It does actually look, it looks so sick. So the way that, the way that Alex kind of did it was, kind of like you say, made these wedges kind of push, it's gonna protect the bottom of the fork here anyway. Yeah, yeah. So that looks really cool. Um, but like you say, I think for me, well, you wanted to make a change anyway, didn't you? So what, what, what changes do you wanna make? So in the CAD, it looked really sweet. Um, and then I set it up after the 3D print and I basically just realized straight away, I need to sit it back about there. And I think you agree, didn't you? Yeah, so basically I was like, right, when, when you look at it, you want the weight of the mudguard to be kind of sat a bit further back. Um, and it was sat like, it's quite like, front heavy wasn't it so I think yeah, for me I wanted I really want to see it kind of back here as well and then also where we've got this kind of gap here uh, it's kind of like a janky jarring angle like a 90 degree and I would like to see it kind of flowing in so I think what we were going to change right was we were going to move it back and then also narrow it as well so I want to see it kind of coming up here like this and then running around like that and I think That'll be about right, really. And then we might add some cool little kind of cutouts, maybe like here, something like that. Um, and then maybe a little TH logo here, something like that as well. So a um, couple changes to make. Yeah. Let's get it done and uh, get it printed again, make sure it's all good, and then we'll send it off to the machine.
you've just seen, we've fitted it up and me and Jodie are both really happy with the design now. We've made some changes that weren't the changes we were originally going to make that you saw earlier on in the video, but we are super stoked with how it's come out. We've mixed a bit of modern with a bit of a classic aesthetic as well. So if you remember from earlier in the video, we really like these scoops and how it pushed the wind out and protect the bottom ends of these forks. So we kept that in and just made a nice aesthetic out of this mountain feature basically up the top. We pushed the mud guard back as well because that's sitting way too far forward. And um, if I'm being really picky, there's a few little bits that me and Jodie want to tweak before I send it off for machining. You'll see all that in the final machine part. Now over to Stevie with the B-Roll. So that just about wraps up another build episode on Joe Wicks, the Body Coach's Thruxton RS build. Alex has done such a sick job on that mud guard. I love the cutout he's put in it. I'm really looking forward to seeing that thing in aluminium too. So, thank you so much for watching guys. We're nearly on 100,000 subscribers now, so make sure you click that subscribe button. We've got a big giveaway and a big surprise coming when we do hit 100,000 subscribers. Also, we've just launched our t-shirt, so click the link in the description below and you'll be able to get hold of some sick TH merch. So, thanks for watching again guys, and I'll see you in the next episode.